not really a review just kind of wanted to show uh this shop bag i just picked up black friday sale of course everything's kind of on sale right now this is just a, the 18 volt the m18 series made by milwaukee and i like this style the only reason i picked this partly because i already had a bunch of milwaukee bad tools batteries and everything. i also picked up this right angle one half inch right angle uh grinder as well that's real nice uh, but i needed this because uh i get sick of having to sweep up after myself with the uh, different customers i have uh, whenever i bore a, a deadbolt it gets real bad and so anyways you can see i've got the this blower and uh vacuum i've actually got it unhooked right now but that's what it looks like on the inside it tells you about your filter of course and this your dirt bowl and the drops down you do and there's a hook on each side like i said this isn't really a review but so this pops off you can go on ahead and run that through so what i like is that this hose can stay inside i have another shop back i got several and every one of them that's a pain in the, in the behind with this hose just getting it's always sticking out on the end of it and you're always uh dealing with stepping on it kinking it you know kink right at the where they hook up and uh, then you got this right here this comes with a couple tools if you had i know they got uh, other accessories but you can close that up and then just I mean, it's got some kind of good it's not gonna pick up a quite a lot for 18 volts, but uh, you know, it'll work. It'll work for what I'm doing for most of what I do. Uh, it's just dust, debris, metal shavings, uh, stuff like that. But uh, you know, and so you can check check your battery. I've already run this down a little bit, and so I'm gonna do this with one hand. Being new, it's real tight in there. You, you got to kind of tuck one hand underneath to lift up and use your other hand to pinch the tabs off because the lock's on there. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a shop bag. Uh, nothing fancy, just uh, I need something that I could take with me on a job. And I just sit over here by my Milwaukee fan. You know, I did this wood slots in my step van. And kind of one of the cool thing is I can take a hook and just hook it back in there and then twist it and it stays locked you can see do that over there i don't have to keep adding more of these little hooks or uh you know uh screw in different hooks to do that so and the other tool i picked up always need uh an angle grinder i have some that are uh, i've had uh, the 36 volt ones the mo the dewalt 36 volt Another one of those things I gotta do with one hand. And uh, these aren't gonna be a lot of quirky. I mean, they got, uh, I think it's 3600 RPM, whatever it is. I just got it bad. Let's see. You can read all the stuff. I can't read while I'm recording. But it's one of those things. Uh, every now and then I come across something where I need to cut a piece of metal. And I did in this last lock job. They had a piece of this. Uh, sheeting over the it was an aluminum style door and i had to remove this lock they had a you know the outside mortise lock for the adams right uh it was a deadbolt and they had to thump through on the inside but i i had to install uh, one of those alarm lock trilogy uh, push buttons on the aluminum style so i had to cut it the handle was here and the trilogy went all the way down about here so i had, actually uh, let me see here yeah i had to cut this to where I could actually use it with the existing handle. I cut the handle down too. So, uh, anyways, that worked out pretty good, but I had to use my Sawzall. That's what the yellow is from the side of my Sawzall blade. But sometimes with the Sawzall, if you got to hold a piece because it's flopping around, uh, it's a little bit more violent when it comes to cutting. And so uh, I actually had uh, my block of wood set up in here. And it was all the way across there and into my vise over here. The thing was flopping around. 
with the cutoff wheel, it's just smooth. It just cuts a lot smoother, you know, if you feed it in the right direction. But uh, I got a little mess. I've got a lock job, two lock jobs tomorrow I got to do. So I'm just kind of out here organizing. I had a friend that we was talking about the Black Friday sales. I told him I bought that. So I figured I'd go ahead and just do a video. And uh, I, I don't know if I'm even going to make this uh, public. I may just uh, leave it unlisted, link only or something. But anyways, uh, if I do make it public and you have any questions or whatever, let me know. I think the shop back was about $129. And uh, the cordless tool was 79 and that was without the batteries. I already had batteries, so I got three actually, so I'm good on batteries. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.